Hi, I'm Kim Brooks. Welcome to UE Does Enterprise. This is a series of video shorts showcasing UE academics from all over the university who've used enterprising methods to stimulate the spirit of enterprise in their students. We really hope it inspires you in your teaching and would encourage you to get in touch should you have any stories that you would like to share. Thank you. And we've been running the student consultancy scheme for quite a few years, in fact. It's quite successful and quite popular. Um, uh, we've branded it CAKE, Community Action and Knowledge Exchange, because it's all about community action, CA, on one hand. Students go out and do live work in community organisations and they exchange knowledge. It's a two-way flow. They learn a lot from the work that they do and we deliver a, they deliver a service to outside organisations. We advertise annually for expressions of interest. We're quite well networked in the local community and voluntary sector, so a lot of those organisations, social enterprises, etc., uh, come to us. There's more e every year than we've got uh, student teams to, to support, but they've all got distinct needs for improving the relationship between their use of IT and their businesses. So we put st students together in small teams of four and five, and so we then launch students into a live project experience working with their client organisations for the rest of the academic year. Students then leave the institution to go and meet their client organisations and their first job is to show that they've understood over a course of some weeks uh, the business uh, of the organisation in question, how IT contributes to that business and how that contribution can be improved in relation to the sorts of problems and issues that the clients brought to the table when they uh, express their interest in working with us as partners for the academic year. Uh, the clients initially came in uh, to pitch to us their ideas that they had around the projects that they wanted to entail uh, and once we were assigned our teams we then pitched our ideas as a cohort to Nick Plant um, and then the, the, the charities that we wanted to work for were then allocated to us. Uh, so I was allocated Brixto Project which is a organisation in Eastern and Bristol which provides support and services to people living with HIV or affected by HIV and AIDS. So the two projects we're undertaking, putting forward towards Brigstow, are a backup system and a file management system. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go in and pitch that formally to our client and then that's going to be formally signed off. And we've got until March next year to do that. Um, and this was all formed around our situational analysis, which was evolved around discussion with the client, um, because initially these ideas, they weren't set in stone. Um, so they were generated from our, from our skill sets as a team and through regular communications with the client, we've, we came to those decisions. Um, so I'm currently a couple of months into Information Practitioner 3. Um, we've been assigned our clients and at the moment we're just trying to figure out what our projects are and what our client wants and needs from us. Um, I'm working with Spike Island and they're an arts incubator in Harborside in Bristol. They came to us with th six potential project ideas uh, and as a group we sat down and discussed them with the client and as with my other team members talking about the feasibility of the pro projects, our, our team skills, um, the time constraints and I think most importantly, the importance and prioritisation of the project to our client. So from this, we've decided on doing two main tasks. The first one is a feasibility study around the storage of their information within Spike Island. And the second one, I think the most important one to them, is a clocking in and out system uh, where they can record the usage of their studios. I think this, this project or the, you know, the IT practitioner course really gives students the opportunities to get that exposure and then to take that on to grad schemes or further employability opportunities that the students want.